He emerged from the bush surrounded by his Cobra fighters. David Yao Yao is the leader of a rebellion by the Merle ethnic group. They demand their own land within the newly independent South Sudan. Until recently, he was the most wanted man in the country. Okay, Merle, uh, based on uh, all the atrocities that have been committed to them and the, 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 the backbench uh, uh, in the Jankole state, um, so they wanted to have their own state together with uh, three other communities. Uh, we don't have uh, development, we have no school, we have no health facilities, we have no road, and we have almost no everything. So, so uh, having uh, seen that, uh, which means we are not uh, within the, 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 the consideration. That's why we need to have our own state. A call that resonates among the youth that have swelled the ranks of the Cobras. 16-year-old Jairus Muzi became a fighter after his mother and brother were killed by government forces during a violent disarmament campaign. I am a soldier because there is no school for me to learn in. This is why I have a gun, so I can fight for my freedom and stay alive. The Merle are marginalized people based in eastern Jongle, the least developed area in South Sudan. Elizabeth says people are left to depend on what nature has on offer. There has been no food distribution here since a separate rebellion broke out two months ago, led by former Vice President Riek Machar. In many ways, the struggle of the Merle is very telling of South Sudan itself, where people feel that armed rebellion is the only way to make their voices heard. It's the message given to the presidential envoy at a heated community meeting. People want to see progress before believing in peace. So I think they have a point, and that point need, we need to pay attention to it and address it. Because they have a right to complain. What I'm concentrating on now is to tell them, look, this is our country, we are new generations, and it is us to address our own problems. For now, David Yao Yao says he's willing to lay down his weapons, but time is of the essence. Our message to the government of South Sudan is we still remain calm until we see the accomplishment of our, our aim. But normally, when you, when you miss food from someone, what do you think will happen? Yeah, he will not be happy with you because you, you don't give him food or half food. Okay. Yeah, but when you give, even dog, when you give dog uh, food, it will be happy for you. The challenge for the government of South Sudan is to rise above tribal and ethnic differences for the sake of national unity, a challenge that will be tough to overcome. Hud Abdel Hamid, Al Jazeera, Gumuruk in Eastern Jungle State.